met each other working together. We started dating working together, and we never really divorced that working together and being in a relationship. That just continued from the beginning. Um, so it was constantly collaborative uh, in that way. We went and saw a show that was called The Bodies Exhibit that was touring around the world, and it's an ethically, enormously problematic uh, human rights atrocity as far as I can tell. Uh, but in one of those rooms they had the human vascular system and pulmonary system excised from the rest of the body. And so there was nothing but this network, this lacy network of transportation networks that would just go through the human body. And it was a total revelation to us of like, oh my god, you can look at the human body this way as these conduits and these roadways. And so finding that sort of corporeal bodiness of maps felt like a really juicy uh, thing to mine. And it was a learning curve. I mean, when you say trial and error, it's mostly error at first, and then, you know, eventually it gets okay. Um, there's only one time that we've messed up so badly that we had to just throw the map out. It was a, a piece that had text in it and I just went right through and cut out the positive space in the R, and there's no recovering from that. Like, there's, there's just nothing you can do. Um, so we chucked that one. <laughs> and then over the course of developing these over the next few years, we started to layer graphic images across that and to figure out like what are the images that make our sense of place, that make us like know who we are connected to where we're from. Um, and so that went, you know, to the realm of like suburban iconography, to Western iconography, to a series that used uh, vintage erotica. For the longest time, the only really positive imagery of gay men in the West was in erotica. And so we were using materials from like Bob Miser's uh, work in LA to kind of lay those across these Western landscapes and then cut out everything, leaving that vascular network in there. The piece that's up at Art League, the 50 States Wyoming, uh, in the course of making that piece, we didn't know we were making a Wyoming piece yet. We were making a piece about Western iconography. And, and in the course of that, we stumbled across this 19th century narrative of a Scottish lord uh, and a party of 100 presumably uh, same-sex attracted men uh, led by William Drummond Stewart and his lover. Before they had even finished surveying the Oregon Trail, there was this band of 100 probably gay men throwing a party on the shores of a lake. It, utterly shifts the way that you understand what it means to stand there. It, it's, a, it's a paradigm shift in your experience of the land um, and your sense of agency and your sense of belonging. Uh, so over the course of 2014 and 2015, Nick and I retraced their journey from St. Louis up to Wyoming uh, with these microcrystalline wax panels covering queered cowboy iconography. And we'd stop at 80 mile intervals along the way, cover them with a soil sample and then drive over that with a truck, leaving our uh, kind of imprint of our record along their journey along this pilgrimage. These narratives have to be shaping how we understand our place in the world. And we have to use our power as artists to take it and to amplify these histories as much as we can, uh, because otherwise other people get to dominate uh, the, the narratives that we understand ourselves with. And I don't want that. I don't want other kids to have to grow up not having these images to, to understand themselves in. <laughs>